<laughs> that the? <laughs> that the we... <laughs> Gave me a little bit of a tap there. We're out here today at the lovely Fuji Speedway, and I want to show you something. I guess you could call it a new fad that started up with drifting here in Japan. PVC drift. Ever heard of tray drifting? That's when you get these plastic trays from fast food restaurants, put them under the back wheels of your front wheel drive car, pull up the handbrake and go sliding around a car park. Well, they've taken it to the next level here. PVC rings around the tires. There's a drift team in Shizuoka, which is where Fuji Speedway is, called Team Soul. And usually they're known for drifting A86s, but recently they started to popularize this idea of PVC drifting, which means taking a $300 K car, getting plastic rings, putting them around the rear tires, and sliding them around door to door. Well, first impressions. It's very quiet. Well, I've never heard drifting be that quiet, ever. The most popular cars here seem to be Daihatsu Mirrors. It's a mirror, mirror. Uh, that is a Mazda Laputa. Another mirror. And over here, So a Suzuki Alto and a Mazda, uh, what's it called, a Carol. But the funny thing was with these cars, they are actually identical cars. The Mazda was built by Suzuki, as you can see from the back. They got the same rear end. Oh, this one's got, look, it has an Alto rear hatch on it. Just in case you didn't know, I've already mentioned it. K car. It's a class of vehicle in Japan like this. Uh, it has to be... Uh, under 660cc engine, under 64 horsepower, and un under a certain width, height, and weight limit. And what that gives them is much cheaper registration. As you can see, they have yellow number plates on them. The yellow number plate means it's a K car, and it's pronounced K, not key, okay? K. And what makes these things appealing to use as a drift car is the cheap automatic ones are about $300. So a very easy way to get into drifting. But of course the trick with these cars is this. The PVC rings.
So these are the rings that they use to go sliding on. I've been told they come from aquarium grade four meter lengths of pipe, which they then cut up using uh, hand saws. So here's some brand new ones, and here's what they look like after being used. So obviously they can break or get uh, flat spots like this. Look at that. So the front wheels are left uh, stock, which is regular street tires. And the PVC ring goes over the back wheels like this. And what they do is they use winter studless tires because uh, they have a lot more grip and they're a lot squishier. So you can squeeze these over the top of the wheels and then uh, fill it up with air. I was told you don't fill it up too much, otherwise the ring can break. If you're thinking, ah, oh, this is pretty basic stuff, yeah, plastic wheels, whatever. As with anything else in Japan when it comes to drifting, they always have to, have to go that bit extra. It has a cooling system, look at this. Obviously sliding plastic on the ground is gonna get very hot. So what they have here is a water reservoir tank and a switch, oh. <laughs> which is apparently the headlight switch, which then sprays onto the tires. Apparently with this cooling system, it stops the rings from cracking. The PVC class is about to head out. Before they do the news, what regular speed it looks like on this track. Alright, I have a helmet. So this is Mr. Shiokawa. Hi. Hello. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. And this is Ekoya Mira. Mira, hi, Mira this. Hey, so we're in the Daihatsu Mira. Everybody told me I have to ride with him because he's apparently the best guy here, so we'll see how it goes. Alright, here we go. Whoa, this is weird. <laughs> Feels like the rear's on casters. <laughs> oh wow, this is really cool. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna spin. He's gonna spin. <laughs> this is awesome. We've got about 60 k's an hour. This feels so weird. I'm trying to figure out what he's actually doing to drive like this. It's always on the accelerator. So that was a spin. So it does kind of feel like drifting in the snow, but as you just saw there, even though we spun out, because the front is still gripping, we stopped pretty quick, which is good. Whoa. 
<laughs> Gave a little bit of a tap there. Here at the buzzing sound, the coolers are going on the back tyres. So as long as the rings don't overheat, you can just do this all day. Oh, well, we gave him a tap. <laughs> Hurry up now. Ask Mr. Shirokawa what he thinks this sort of driving like is good to help learn, and I think it's fairly obvious from that it's uh, driving with tandem with guys in front, really, really close. But he says he does actually drive regular drift cars too, and also because these cars have zero grip on the back, it helps you learn how like the set like the sense of whether a car is gripping or, or sliding in the back gets sort of fine-tuned so pvc drifting i gotta admit i had my doubts when i first saw it on the outside but from the inside man that is some close tandem and for 10 minutes straight might have to have a go at this anyway thanks for watching i'll see you next time